Good morning, family. Happy Friday. It is August 23rd, 2024. I hope you guys are well. Bear with me this morning. Been a little rough around the edges. These little petri dishes that I call grandchildren have decided to share their back to school germs with their Mimi. But I'll be fine pushing through it. All right. And we know that the divine always helps you get through when you don't feel good. But let's start out with a little advice. Kuan Yin Oracle today is number 16. Maiden Magu. Not Mr. Magu. Maiden Magu. Maybe that's his wife. Ha ha. Come on. You gotta laugh. All right. Let's find out what this maiden represents. The maiden Magu, goddess of spring. Remember, goddess with a little g. Healing and transformation brings you assistance now. You're asked to honor that light. Uh, wait, that's they spelled this wrong. You are asked to honor the light that can come from even the darkest beginnings. Uh, in fact, sometimes we need to enter into the unknown parts of ourselves to find exactly what we need to grow in peace creative self-fulfillment, and happiness. The challenge can be to trust that we will arise from this darker place again, just as the spring always follows the winter. So too will you have any inner work with the shadow precede a beautiful rebirth for you. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory. So, yeah, it's like being, you know, as I say, born again. I mean, it's reawakening who you truly are and some people don't know who they truly are that's why spirit's been focusing on getting to know yourself again all right earth magic today lightning represents power now we're praying no one goes out there and gets hit by lightning to wake them up we're not doing that all right, we see power all around us. It's in the mountains, meadows, and clouds. In fact, in every expression of nature, yet there isn't a more dramatic display of nature's power than lightning. It electrifies and splits the atmosphere such that when the heated air comes rushing together, we hear thunder. The applause of the gods, they say. Lightning, we always say that the gods bowling or Jesus got a uh, strike. And triggers fear and awe. We see these forked beams of brilliant light jump from the sky, and our instinctual vigilance is triggered in anticipation of the roar that follows. We naturally seek shelter from the storm, or are grateful that we're already being sheltered. This demonstration of the power of creation is yet another way to remind us that we are not in control of the natural world. When we witness nature's power with open hearts and minds, we see that it neither destructive nor constructive. It just simply is. Yeah, don't be afraid of the storms. Learn to weather them. God's not going to cancel the storm. He's going to weather you through it. Okay? Lantern Oracle today is number 20. Enough. You were born enough. How many times have we second-guessed our worthiness you are enough. All right. Throughout life, we grow either toward or away from embodying our spirit self. The direction away from our spirit self is often poorly compensated with a false identity. Identity that further weakens our power, autonomy, and authenticity. Even amongst apparent success, such pretenses further stifle us from within. A life constructed from self-compromise and erasure. erasure will shatter from the inside out. Okay. We've got some spelling errors in these author's books today. I'm just going to point them out here. Erasure. It's reassure. Oh, well. All right, grammar police, be quiet. All right. Much like a mansion built on a hollow foundation will crumble, it can be no other way. Like the featured mother, no one deliberately compromises themselves. For most, this is an inherent pattern that results in a mindless reenactment of one's upbringing. 
and upbringing that included neglect, abuse, or lack of resources may not have nurtured a secure sense of self. Tune in to an aspect of your life that doesn't feel right, inspiring or true to you. The mother asks you to step up and move forward with clarity and confirm commitment to what is right and by you. She asks that you identify what is enough for you to rather than prioritizing any desires or expectations of the outside world. From this, you will both realize and enforce your boundaries. All that you are, all that you have, and all that you do is enough. It is more than enough. The fact that you breathe is all that is ever required of you to be enough. So give yourself permission to simply be. If you're tired, do less. If you lack pleasure, do more of what brings you joy. Always be you. Breathe with your wings outspread. You are a spirit self-facilitator, not jailer. There's nothing to add, win, acquire, achieve, or improve in order to be enough. You were born enough. From this place of inherent enoughness, respect yourself and your eternal right to be all that you are by aligning your thoughts, words, and actions with your spirit self. So they're focusing on self-worth today. Beautiful cards. Whispers of healing. We have number 21, well-being. And I hope you have a good well-being. Do you see yourself as well? All right. Having an upbeat nature doesn't just happen. If you'd like to enjoy your life and maintain a positive outlook, it is important to take an enthusiastic approach. Staying positive and appreciative through life's dilemmas can prove difficult. Examine your approach to life. Reflect on how your lifestyle and worldview impacts your attitudes and behaviors. Once you have clarity in these areas, you can let go of what is not effective and make change towards your wellness. Make a real effort to change your unhealthy habits. Through this process, you'll be able to determine what is essential to you. As you alter your behavior, you will enjoy a sounder body, mind, and spirit. This will mean balancing your relationships and work. You will be able to find healthy channels where you can spend your time more favorably and enjoyable. Enjoyably. The flowing hair and light surrounding this illuminated fairy depict the natural flow of energy. Foxglove relates to self-awareness and knowing where your energy is best utilized. The spider webs point to life choices and places where you might be deceiving yourself. And as you balance your well-being, you'll untangle your webs. Change your habits to bring more wellness into your life. Well, that's a very personal self-examination that only you can do. All right? You're the only true one that knows how you how you feel. All right? Okay, let's move on to Lemurian. All right. Beyond Lemurian, today is number 42. Reclaim your energy. All right. A lot of power, energy, well-being today. This is recapulation, owning your power. Where you put your energy is your choice. Overcoming triggers through self-awareness, energy vampires, reclaiming your soul's fragments, observing the observer, shifting victim mentality. Do you feel like a victim? out of control. We become aware of our patterning through self-awareness. By observing the observer, we can broaden our perspective of how and why we react to certain stimuli. This understanding helps us entangle ourselves from drama. We can distinguish what is relevant and real to us in the here and now from outdated stories. Instead of reacting when we feel triggered, we can peel back the layers of those moments and claim greater understanding of ourselves and the myths we have unwittingly subscribed to or that others have ascribed to us. Meditation can help us explore and take responsibility for our internal dissonance. Anything that takes you out of the busyness of your mind can heighten your perspective so you can see the bigger picture. Yeah, in this 3D world, we seem to be busy little bees with unnecessary things. What do you need to be busy doing? 
of course you have to live here and you have to do things and you have to wash the dishes and cook your dinner and all that. We get it. But are you spending too many, what I call with the littles, junk time on the screen? How many times do you spend scrolling for things that are meaningless? They are not helping you. Instead of spending more time with Mother Nature or self-reflection, studying and learning. If you want to scroll, make sure that look, you're looking for something that is meaningful for your well-being. I'm not saying you can't look at the occasional joke every once in a while and have a good laugh. That's good for your well-being. But a lot of the times we waste so many hours of the day on junk, okay? All right, so our shadow work today, they want us to work on pride. Pride. True worth is measured by characters and accolades. This is arrogance, vanity, and ego. Okay, so do you feel that you have to win um, prizes and awards and have public recognition for you to know that you're worthy? The first thing, if you do win something or are recognized for something, are you shouting it from the rooftops because you need to be recognized? There's a difference between being, you know, worthy and worthy of that recognition versus throwing it in somebody's face. Okay. What's the intention behind it? So somebody out there needs to work on pride today. The inner child. How cute. Number three is self-love. That's right. Yeah, your well-being, self-love. How do you care for yourself? I love myself exactly as I am. How many people can actually say that? You are enough. You should love yourself for who you are. Yes, you do need work. I need work. Everybody needs work. But you have to love yourself through the process. Okay? Your spirit animal today. Oh, how refreshing. Not. Number 54 is the skunk. Skunk spirit. Know your worth. Yeah, that's not. Usually everybody runs from the skunk when they see it. But he's still cute. He stinks. No one wants to have that, have that much tomato juice on hand. All right, don't see yourself as the bad aspects of what a skunk can be. You're cute, you're adorable, and you should be loving your God's creation. We don't focus on the stinky, okay? Know your worth. You're important. All right, your final card today from Tarot is Justice. It's a major arcana. It's number 11. And justice simply in this aspect means finding balance. And that truly is our whole process in life, finding balance in everything that we do. Not too much of one thing or another to tip the scales, to stay, you know, earthbound, but spiritually as well. There's, there's an equal balance in everything you think of and do. Are you balanced? Okay, because when you reclaim yourself and your power and your worthiness and your well-being, you become balanced and we're all a work in progress. So don't be so hard on yourself. Give yourself a little mercy and grace and know that you can get through this. All right. I know wings. He's reminding me, well, read the thing about the skunk. Okay, here's the thing about the skunk. What do you value? What do you believe in? Is your best, most authentic self on display? Skunk spirit comes as a reminder that you can be proud of who you are and what you've accomplished. Know your worth. Not everyone will agree with you or share your values, but you can walk with your head high, knowing that when you express your integrity, others can feel your authenticity and will be inspired by it. Be who you are, and if your reputation precedes you, good. You have much to be proud of, and Skunk Spirit wants you to be the best self, the true you. Absolutely. You do you, boo. All right? All right, guys. Thanks for bearing with me, and 
Uh, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I will see you on the round table later. And we'll uh, answer your questions. It's potpourri, so bring them on, and we'll be there to answer them. It is Friday. Pants are optional. I hope you have a blessed weekend. I will see you on Monday for more oracles. We'll continue this set. And be blessed. All right? Smile. Know that God loves you. And I do too. Have a blessed day.